Oh, it's a movie. So it's not real. This is uh, actual slaughter practices. This is a gas chamber. Oh. That's horrible what they yeah. do though, isn't it? Oh. No, 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 no! <laughs> oh my god. Fucking hell. Wow. No! Not sure if you eat any of these animals or? I actually do. Like a horror movie, eh? Tell us how you feel before we finish well, that. Yeah, I'm very, very shocked. Yep. Now I feel like I don't want to eat meat no more. Yeah. Where was that made? In Australia? Australia and the UK. Yeah. So we, we're pretty much equal in our, our practices for slaughter. I mean, if an animal, if they kill it, yeah, well, not like that. And that's a very bad, Way. horrible, Process. So, have you had a, thought about plant-based or vegan eating? Um, I've thought of vegetarianism, not veganism. Yeah, that's a bit too extreme for me. Really? I don't think I could go there. Yeah. Interesting. And you saw the uh, male chicks being ground up alive and the dairy cow being stabbed in the throat. Yeah. You don't think those things are more extreme than choosing uh, maybe plant-based milk or? Yeah. No. I mean. Yeah. Like you're talking about. Of, yeah. You would take incremental steps to vegetarian and then, or you just would never think about vegan. I don't know. I mean. It, at the moment, because I do eat meat, veganism is just too far out for me. But yeah. I think the more I wean myself off of meat and meat and you know meat-based products and things like that, so. I think the more of a better outlook I would have on veganism oh, wow. and things like that. Yeah, I've got. Uh, quite, we have our own chickens. Yeah, we have four, and like we keep them in the woods. Yeah, uh, we we do eat their eggs. Okay, but like, how do you feel about that? People have this conversation with me while they're still eating bacon and steak, yeah. and so I just like choose the the most unethical things in your lifestyle yeah. to tackle first and if you're completely vegan you're not wearing leather you're not yeah. eating dairy products from these industries and you're not eating eggs from you know outside sources restaurants and supermarkets where males are being uh, ground up alive I would then ask uh, where did the, the hens come from a uh, place in Oxfordshire it's called like Burford Garden Centre is it a hatchery I don't know, they just have a bunch of chickens there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those hens would have been sourced from a hatchery yeah. where the male chicks would have been ground up alive. So it's the same ethical implications. Yeah. If they were rescued hens, they need their eggs themselves for calcium because yeah. they've been producing a lot of eggs. And I, I would still suggest that viewing animals like resources, like products, and viewing eggs as food is what where factory farms came from. Yeah. So I think like just steering away from animals as products is a good idea. Yeah. And just looking after hens because you want to look after hens and rescue them from their yeah. this reality and yeah have you ever been to the vegan vegetarian section in like tesco or sainsbury's yeah i have yeah, yeah. well kind of i suppose the conception is that like it's going to be more expensive mm. so you just generally kind of say i'll just get like you know the bog standard yeah. i suppose it depends what um supermarkets you go to but yeah. um yeah it's yeah. just what the regular meat yeah sometimes like you can get like you know, good deals, yeah. but uh, they don't subsidise uh, plant-based products like they subsidise meat and dairy, so yeah. sometimes they might be a quid extra or whatever, but do you think it's kind of worth it for avoiding that? I don't know. Like, right. you know, you're putting that in your body, aren't you? Like, yeah. Um, those animals. For me, the struggle is more uh, because I grew up in an environment which where ghee and butter was a part of day. I think I think the problem is when you when you start out when you're three or four years old and people just feed you milk and ghee, you don't really think about it. No. And it becomes a part of your day. It's it's so ingrained in your life that sometimes for me when I try to go outside and I get garlic bread, I I just get cheese garlic bread. I don't yeah. because it doesn't strike me that it's a dairy product or no. it's I'm it's hurting cows. What is a good way to kill someone? I don't know because um, I've got a friend in Scotland, right? And he worked in the slaughterhouse, yeah. right? In um, Aberdeen. Basically, what he's, what they do is they stun, stun the sheep. And then they go into... Yeah. So they're not uh, awake. Yeah. And then they... Yeah, well, the stunning doesn't always work. But let's just say the stunning did work. Do you think it's okay still? I, to, to be honest, I don't agree with it because... Um, my, when my friend told me, right, because I used to live in Scotland and he, he worked in the Aberdeen slaughterhouse and he, he stopped eating meat. Wow. That's kind of what happens. You stop the meat and then you start to go, oh, wow, this is not as hard as I thought. And yeah. then you start introducing non-dairy milks and... 
But I mean, it all depends on how you're doing it as well. I mean, veganism, you, you know, you can't you you can't just rely on you know chips and things like that. No, like, no. You'll die. You have to you have, have to have a variety of plant foods. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has to be home cooked and things like that. And you can have your treats foods. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Yeah. The thing for us is like because we're growing up, we can't. We need to have like a balanced diet. Like we don't want to be hurting the animals or anything. That's why we're vegetarian. But it's just seem, it's very hard to go like vegan when you're growing up because especially when our parents aren't yeah I, I, yes, I agree that you're probably in a bit more of a position yeah. because your parents and uh, but but in terms of nutrition yeah. plant-based diets have been scientifically proven to be healthy if they're well planned for all stages of life so you don't have to worry about you don't there's nothing in eggs it's they're the most collection cholesterol dense food on earth yeah. nearly cholesterol causes heart disease you know about cholesterol and heart disease but there's a massive peer-reviewed paper put out by the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics it's backed by 117 studies. That covers the health aspect, if anyone's worried about health, as long as you're getting B12 supplements in. Um, but I suppose on the other hand, you could say like, these animals are bred for that purpose. Yeah. So like on the other hand, you have that kind of argument. So then that kind of removes that kind of guilt from the situation. Yeah. Does it though? Those animals were all bred for that purpose. Does that remove any guilt from you guys? I suppose it helps you like stomach the the, well, <laughs> the kind of food that you're eating. I could breed humans for that purpose too, couldn't I? Well, it's a bit. I could, like hypothetically. Yeah, hypothetically, you could breed humans and say and tell them that like you are going to be chopped up and yeah, and think, yeah. yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts on that ethically? If it was to another human, like you'd feel awful. Like you, I, you wouldn't be able to live with yourself. I guess. I don't know. I guess like when I first saw this, all these justifications started going through my head and I started trying to rationalise it and go, maybe there's a better way, maybe I can do, yeah. or maybe they're bred for this, maybe, you know, we've yeah. been doing it for a long time, or maybe, you know, but. Yeah. I mean, you seem deeply affected. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Totally. You know, you seem really uh, emotionally moved by this. I don't know if there's many people that can watch this without being emotionally moved. Yeah, I don't think many people would. Uh, if, I think if everyone, unless people uh, did not not have a heart, yeah. you know, and people like, if they don't uh, care about animals, I love animals. No, even though I eat meat, but... That's, that's really strange, isn't it? I wouldn't eat meat if I knew it come from there. <laughs> When you see a chopped up piece of animal, you know that they were had their head cut off for that, yeah. and they probably wanted to live. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course, animals yeah. want to live. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. you, you guys, are you morally against what you, this sort of thing? I mean, I don't agree with it. You don't. Like, agree I with love it? my animals so much, but I have considered going vegetarian and vegan. Wow. But I've just never kind of put the foot in the door and wow. kind of gone for it. But What's stopping you? I don't know, I guess just like, because my mum and dad aren't. Oh wow. So it's kind of just easy to kind Mine's of... Mine's more so the, the taste and the nutrients you get from the meat. They, you know, if it was if they were slaughtered more humanely, I think, you know, there wouldn't be such a problem with eating meat. But the way that it's done at the moment, it's, it's completely wrong and it should be outlawed. It's humanely slaughtered. Tell me about the word humane. What does that mean to you? Well, I think it's how an animal is killed. I mean, they should at least be killed with, with dignity and respect like a person is. I think all animals should be treated the same as a human being. They shouldn't be seen as lesser just because we're the top of the food chain. That's very... I'm very interested in your outlook here because to be treated with digni dignity and respect but to be also treated as a steak, I don't think those two things align. Like, if you're going to treat an animal with digni dignity and respect, wouldn't we just leave them be? Well, no, I don't think so. I, I think that, you know, if you're, if you're letting them live out their life in the naturalistic behaviour that they should yeah. be doing it, yeah. you know, um, or even just allowing them to die naturally and then take the meat off of them after that. It'll be a longer, it'll, it'll be a much longer process, you know, but at would least be, they're... Would that be sustainable? It depends on how you're doing it, you know, if, at, if you, when you start off it will not be sustainable, there will no way you could do it, but in the, in the long run, you know, you've got um, so many cows and, and pigs and things like that that are quite old age. Yeah, yeah I, I think it could be sustainable in the future. I was just wondering, do you know how, do you know how much resources these animals need like, to keep them alive? Like if you had millions, and you know, there's literally uh, yeah, 74 more, billion. I think there's more chickens in this country than there are people, aren't there, yeah. or something like that. They need a lot of food, so if yeah. you're going to let them all live out their lives and then wait till they die and then take the meat off their dead bodies, um, it would just be just enormous amounts of resources to keep these animals alive for so long. Why not just choose plant-based meats?
have you thought about going completely vegan? You already said you hadn't. Yeah, I said to my parent, and they just wouldn't let me. To be honest, they just wouldn't let you. I'm not sure, like especially for like school food and that. Yeah. It would be very hard because like if I go to canteen, like there's not much I can eat. Really? In the canteen, probably yeah. not. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I've said like school counselors, can we get more vegetarian food at least? Because yeah. like there's barely yeah, any. Maybe like in the future we we might be able to do it, but at the moment it's just very hard because there aren't as many options yeah. right now. You're not really in a position to make the decisions in the household. No. But I'll put it to you like this: you know those fussy kids that won't eat broccoli, and the parents yeah. just give up. You could be those fussy kids that won't yeah. eat dairy. <laughs> you know. But uh, there's a there's a group on Facebook called Challenge Twenty Two. Yeah. Really good. There's a couple of documentaries, What the Health, have you seen What the Health? No. And Cowspiracy on Netflix. Oh, I saw Cowspiracy. you got to show your parents that, so you help educate your parents I to let them know that. Oc I, will, I can vote because of Okja. Okja, yeah. wow. Yeah. Powerful, that's a made up sort of character. Yeah, it's very sad. But it's very similar to the meat industry, yeah? So I guess if you help educate your parents into, so they know that yeah. it's actually a healthy choice and they might be a bit afraid of it. But the biggest challenge for me is when I go or have a coffee or when I'm trying to have tea. It, it doesn't strike me at all time. It's just I have to be very, very uh, aware at all times. And that's that's the most difficult part because it's so it's so ingrained into of my course. daily life. Me too. Yeah. Well, it was with me as well. Now I'm so aware of it yeah. that I've, I've made a commitment hmm. to avoid these products out of principle. Hmm. So now I'm like, is that dairy cheese? And I'm looking for vegan cheeses, finding ones I like. I'm looking for dairy uh, dairy alternatives, finding ones I like, dairy butter alternatives. Mm. And because out of principle, it goes, it's like I wouldn't buy any child pornography because yeah. I support, you know, I'm, I'm morally against child abuse. So I've made that pr uh, like a, pr I know it's a lot more widespread and it's a lot socially accepted, you know, meat, dairy and eggs, it's everywhere. But for me, out of principle, I avoid these products. But mm. Because we have like this, uh, I guess it's subjective over here, we treat them like this and it's much better, it's much worse elsewhere. So this here sort of becomes like, okay, I guess this might be the lesser of two evils in some respects. Like, Yeah, it's, it's kind of devil's advocate, isn't it really? But I've seen a lot of stuff here that is just horrible, just yeah. absolutely horrible. And they put this humane badge on everything, Red Tractor and RSPCA approved. And these gas chambers operate here. Um, you know, the, the stunning methods don't always work. Some of the factory farms here are absolutely terrible. Over 90% of the pigs are factory farmed here. You know, cutting animals' heads off, I don't see that as welfare myself. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I don't. No. Uh, there must be much better ways. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it from future sort of retrospective, but I mean, I, I think it's, there must be more things that can be done, like more research that can be put into it and how an animal can be killed humanely. I guess in my country, it's more, uh, I would like. Where are you from? India. India. Yeah. Wow. Biggest dairy industry on earth, nearly. It is. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. It's. It's. It's terrible because I know what what goes on behind the scenes. But the problem for me, what I find an issue with in India when I try to find vegan options is there aren't any, or I have to look very very hard to find a vegan. So if I'm if I'm at work and I want to get grab a quick lunch, I don't find vegan Do you options. Live in India. Yeah. Uh, I've heard India is really bad for vegan op options. Yeah. Yeah. It's that. It's. It's very difficult to find vegan options anywhere in the country because, like I said, it's it's very religiously, it's a part of the religion. So any saying vegan, go vegan, automatically becomes an attack on the religion. Yeah. Where if you say don't use milk or don't use thing, it, people yeah, perceive it that way. Have you thought of uh, Beyond Meat? Have you heard of Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods? And no, I've never heard of either of them. So yeah. I've heard of like, um, uh, well, you mean Findus and things like that, yeah. or. Um, you know, those sort of like Asda store yeah. meats and things. They've got like fake. Iceland, got the No Bull Burger. Have, have you guys ever tried any of these plant-based alternatives? No, never tried it. Would you give them a go after watching that? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Because you're studying animal welfare for a reason, like... Yeah. What was the reason? Uh, I think it's just to better understand how animals it? are treated. Did you yeah, choose yeah. that? Sorry, okay, yeah. So. Yeah, um, yeah, I did choose it. Um, okay. And it, I think it was just to better understand how the animals are treated in this country and in other countries. Okay. What I find most weird about this whole argument, the vegan argument and no, I will choose to eat meat. The argument is never about, it doesn't, when, you, when we start talking about animal and animal rights, the other side doesn't really talk about that at all. They circumvent the entire argument to humans and human rights because I need to be able to choose what I have to eat. Yeah. So I feel like that argument doesn't really stand because we're not even talking about the same things. I'm talking about animals, we're talking about animals, we're talking about cows and how they should be treated and you're talking about but I still want to eat it and I don't see that as an argument to my point.
No. I, I know you want to eat it, but I'm telling you why you shouldn't. Yeah. But I, I still mean, want to. Is. We want to have sex doesn't mean we should go out and rape. Yeah, exactly. It's an ethical implication of what you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Apples and oranges, human rights versus animal rights. Yeah. Yeah, for the same reasons I think humans deserve liberty and respect and to be treated fairly and compassionately are the same reasons I think animals should, you know? Hmm. Yes. I, I think that you shouldn't... I don't, I don't think everyone should turn to vegetarianism and veganism. I think that there just needs to be a, a better change in the animal industry. Yeah. Why would we try to find a good way of killing someone? Why wouldn't we just choose plant-based foods? Why would we strive to find this nice way of exploiting and killing animals? I don't know, I think it's just because people would prefer it and there are a lot of people who are too stubborn to move on to vegetarianism and it's if they really don't want to leave their meat alone and things like that, you, know, you, you must find different options. You, at the end of the day, the 21st century is all about catering to different people okay, from yeah. different backgrounds and yeah. if, someone doesn't wanna, if someone wants to eat meat, you should allow them to but at least find a humane way to do it. So beyond me now, they're synthesizing like the like animal proteins out of plants, like pea protein and coconut fat, and it's very, very realistically similar. Do you think that would be a direction to move in? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know if it looks like meat and tastes like meat, I don't see the difference. You should try Beyond Burger. Tell me what you think. The Definitely. There is that. Uh, on on one hand, they'll say that cows are holy and uh, they're revered, sacred, and on the other hand. They'll this is what happens. inseminate them and suck the milk out of cows. And they it. And they're sending yeah. them all off to be murdered. Literally, holy cow. Oh yeah, and, and they cow. do say and they do say it's uh, merciful killing, and I've never understood that term at all. Merciful killing? Huh? Uh, mer no, no, it's merciful. It's like it's supposed to be uh, quick and painless, which is which oh. doesn't make sense, right? We had it it's like we find the particular part in the neck where the where like the minute you poke it dies, and like. That's not merciful at all. That's not humane killing at all. Humane killing, that's what they call well, it. Well, if you were suffering and you wanted me to kill you, to put you out of your suffering, it was in your best interest, there was no way of saving you, then I think it could be a mercy killing. But that's not what's happening. That's not what's happening, yeah. <laughs> where's, that's, the, where's the consent? Yeah. Where is the consent? Yeah. They don't, they're not, yeah. We're putting them what in suffering. Want, what if, even if I'm sick and you can't kill me, what if I don't want to die? Exactly. I'm, I'm just like, let And me, it wouldn't be merciful, that yeah. would be a murder. Yeah, that, that would be murder, murder. yeah. yeah. But yeah. it was really good talking to you guys. I'll grant you that it's a lot harder in India, but um, I hope that you make yeah, the, making the yeah. dairy free choices while you're here and while yeah. you're over there, do your best. Um, yeah. Blending up some you know, oats and water or some, you know, making your own rice milk might be a bit of an ask, but <laughs> 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 making your own soy milk <laughs> with a blender, please. No, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> take guess. Can I have the candy? Please? Oh, yeah, you can take. <laughs> Don't forget your candy. Yeah, go, 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 go. There's no animal products in this. <laughs> awesome. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Crazy. Thanks, brother. Thank you. There's a, there's a website called challenge22.com. Challenge22.com. Challenge yeah, it's a free vegan challenge. You can do it on Facebook. Take as much candy as you want. No, I just... Go on, bro. I'm alright. Yeah. That, Thanks, brother. That made me... Think about things. Cheers, brother. Cool. Nice yeah. talking to you guys. Thank you. Thank if you want to watch this, it'll be on Joey Carpstrong. Joey Carpstrong. Yeah. Okay. Well Help yourself, candy. Thank you. There's no animals in this candy. Or animal products. Thank you. It's a bit wrong, obviously, but I still eat it. Sorry, yeah. but I would. You don't have to apologise to me, meat. brother. I love meat. I used to as well, yeah. Mm. I understand that. Even saying this now, I still eat meat. Yeah. Can I ask you, do you think a human can be killed humanely if they want to live? 